Welcome back guys. In today's video, I'm going to be covering how to do the lazy vault. Now, no matter if you're a beginner or a professional, make sure you stick right to the end of this video as I'm going to be covering the technique to help you add a little bit more flair to your parkour lines. Let's get into it. So the lazy vault is one of the few parkour vaults where you don't actually clear the obstacle facing front on, but you actually clear it going on the side. So almost as if you're running parallel to the obstacle. Now, you want to generate a decent amount of speed so you have enough momentum to carry yourself over the obstacle. Now, to actually do the vault, you're going to grab on with your closest hand. You're going to kick the closest leg up as you jump off the opposite leg. So in my case, I'm going to grab onto the obstacle with my right hand. I want to use my right leg to kick up as I jump off my left leg at the same time. Should look like this. Now, when you're midway through the trick, your legs are going to flare in the air. So my right leg will come up and as it starts to come down, my left leg will start to make its way up as well. And then the left leg will descend for the landing on the other side of the rail. Now, when you're in the trick, most of your body weight is gonna be on that right hand. You can use it to also control your body and pull yourself over the rail on the other side. Check it out. Now, moving on to the second half of this trick, as your legs come over the rail, you want to lean your chest back slightly just so you can grab onto the rail with your opposite hand. Now by doing this, you're going to have a lot more control of your body as it passes over the rail. You can also push your body out and away from the obstacle when landing the trick so you can continue your momentum in the direction that you were going. Now when you're landing this trick, it's okay at first if you're landing on both feet, but eventually you want to learn how to land in a split step position. So the foot that lands first should be the leg that you kick up at the beginning of the trick. So just to re-emphasize, if you kick that right leg up at the beginning of the trick, you want to bring it over the rail and also land with that foot first. This is how it looks. Now, if you are struggling with this move, there are a few progressions you can try. The first one is going to be just doing a normal safety vault. So doing this, you're practicing passing over the rail, leaning to one side and putting most of your body weight on one hand. So that will be a good thing to practice. Another good progression will be doing the lazy vault, but instead of committing to getting your legs all the way over the rail, you can simply stop halfway and try sitting on the rail. So that brings us to the end of today's Lazy Vault tutorial. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. You can also leave a comment down below to tell me what videos or tutorials I should make next. And finally, subscribe to become a master of all trades. I'm feeling a bit lazy. I might go to sleep now. Good night.